If you're like me, you often get last minute requests to make a map. And to make good maps, you need great base maps. You want your maps to be visually appealing, but they also have to communicate essential information needed to make decisions. Hi, I'm Katie from Esri. Today, I'd like to show you just a few of the ways that ArcGIS 10 can save you time by giving you access to beautiful online base maps, can make your maps more informative by allowing you to leverage additional content, and to help you to collaborate more effectively by allowing you to share your work directly from ArcMap. Let's assume that I have been asked to evaluate an annexation for the city of Fort Pierce, Florida. I have a list of store addresses along with annual revenue numbers. Using online locators, it's easy to geocode these stores. For more clarity, I can symbolize these stores by revenue and click on any of them to see detailed information. Next, I need to choose a base map to provide context for these locations. Since online content is easily accessible from ArcMap, I can quickly search by keyword or browse featured content. Notice that there are a variety of base maps to choose from, as well as other content layers, such as demographics and congressional districts. Each map has detailed information about who published the map and how recently it was updated giving me a level of confidence in the map that I'm building. The best thing is that the base map is added to my document with a single click, giving my data context and more importantly, saving me time so I can concentrate on other work. So I started with just a spreadsheet and now I have a pretty informative map, but I'm not done yet. To evaluate the annexation, I need to find a data set that represents the city boundary for Fort Pierce, Florida. Thankfully, I already belong to a group where this data might be available. Groups allow me to collaborate more efficiently with defined teams of people by sharing layers and analysis results. Here I can see details of all the groups I belong to, and since I've signed in, all of this additional content is now searchable. In this case, I'm looking for the Fort Pierce city boundary. Now that I've found the layer I need, I can bring it into my project and add additional insights. The proposed annexation area is located to the south of the existing city boundary. I can quickly sketch the area, adding it to the city boundary layer with a different classification. While this sketch shows the affected area visually, the decision makers will also need estimates of the commercial tax benefit that could result from this change. A quick analysis can help us to generate this new information. Here, the analysis results summarize the commercial tax benefit that could be realized by annexing this area. Since I've created new information, I need to share it back to the project team, which includes the decision makers. By simply creating a layer package, I can easily share it with the group through ArcGIS Online, helping me to collaborate more effectively. Using ArcGIS Explorer, my manager can readily access the information I've just shared to brief the city council and make informed decisions. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you've seen how ArcGIS 10 can help you to make beautiful, informative maps quickly and share your results in just a few minutes, ultimately leading to greater productivity and more informed decisions.